Hello, in this video we have this exponential equation, we have x power 3 minus x power 2 equals 100 and we are solving for all the real and complex solutions. So we have x power 3 minus x power 2 equals 100. We can actually rewrite this equation, we can have it as x power 3 minus x power 2 minus 100 and this equals 0. Then we can as well have it as x power 3. Instead of this negative x squared, we can have plus 4x squared. Then we have minus 5x squared. Then we can as well have plus 20x minus 20x. And we have minus 100. This equals 0. You know, 4x squared minus 5x squared will give you negative x squared and 20x minus 20x this will give you 0 as well so we have the original problem back now the next thing is for us to rearrange this equation so we are going to have we can have it as x power 3 then we have plus 4x squared we have plus 20x, then minus 5x squared, minus 20x, minus 100, and this equals 0. So at this point, we have x here, x and x. We can as well factor that out. x into, we are going to have x power 2 plus 4x plus 20. And we can as well factor out negative 5 from here. Then here we are going to be left with x squared. Then plus 4x plus 20 and this equals 0. Remember that if you multiply this out, we are going to have this part of the equation back and the same thing here. If you multiply this out, we are getting this back. So let's proceed. Since what we have inside this bracket and what we have here, they are the same, so we are going to combine x and negative 5. We have x minus 5, and we have x squared plus 4x plus 20, and this equals 0. So in order to solve for x, we have two different equations. We have x minus 5 equals 0. Or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals 0. Now for the first part of the equation, we have x minus 5 equals 0. That means x equals 5. This is a real solution so this is one of the solutions for the equation and this is a real solution now in order to solve for the complex solution we need to solve this quadratic equation and we are going to make use of formula method we have x equals to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and from this particular quadratic equation, we have a equals 1, b equals 4, and c equals 20. So let's fix that into this formula method. We have x equals negative b. We are going to have negative 4 plus or minus square root of b squared. That is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 20, 
we are definitely going to have 80 divided by 2a that is 2 times 1 and that is 2 so we have x equals negative 4 plus or minus 16 minus 80 is square root of negative 64 divided by 2 and we have x equals we can write this as negative 4 plus or minus we can have it as square root of 64 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 and mind you square root of negative 1 is equals to i so we are going to replace square root of negative 1 with i and we have x equals negative 4 plus or minus square root of 64 we have 8 times i and this is divided by 2 so what do we do we can as well divide all part of the all part of this by 2 and this will give us x equals negative 2 plus or minus 4i so the solutions for these equations for this particular equation uh, we have x equals to 5 we have x equals to negative 2 plus 4i and we have x equals negative 2 minus 4i so the only real solution we have is x equals 5 while this one and this one they are both complex solutions so that is it for the video thank you and goodbye